Welcome to Nugget 32 with Steve Groman. Steve, talk to people about how we break down the words in the Bible and you use eSword, as a matter of fact, on your computer. It's just a free Bible program, right? Right, and on on phones. Yeah, and on on phones. And it has a little tab for KJV+. And some of you may have seen slides that we have the uh, scriptures there, and then there are all these numbers. If you're in the Old Testament, the numbers start with an H, which stands for Hebrew. And then in the New Testament, they'll start with a G, which refers to Greek. It's a lot of fun and very helpful in understanding verses sometimes. And I know that you talk about Colossians 2, 6 and the word walk. So why don't we just use this one as an example? Okay, yeah. As you have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. People know that verse. But when you really take a look at what those words are saying, it has a whole nother dimension. That word walk means to deport oneself, to tread all around. Read the definition if you call it up there. Uh, To tread all around, to deport oneself. It gives the deeper meaning of what the word actually is trying to say there. Right. In this particular program, what it does is it has, by the word walk, it has G4043. And if you just simply click on that, on my version at least, it just takes me down to the strong. We use the strong concords. And it'll give the number and then the Greek spelling and word and how to pronounce it. And then, for example, this one says from G4012 and G3961. What does that mean? What does that part mean? Well, it's a, there's another root word that, that it's from. All right. The word walk is G4043, which means to tread all around. That is, walk at large, especially as proof of ability, figuratively to live, deport oneself, follow as a companion or votary, go, be occupied with, walk, about. So when you think about that, as you therefore receive Christ Jesus the Lord, so deport yourself that way. As you therefore receive Christ Jesus the Lord, so tread all about that way. I like to break down the words, and there are other ones, you know, we mentioned Jeremiah one twelve. Uh, the other day, the Lord said, I will hasten my word to perform it. That word hasten doesn't mean quickly and rapidly like we would think if we know the word hasten at all, but it means to watch for, to watch over. God literally there says that he is watching over his word to perform it. Yeah, I like to break down the words and, and show people the deeper meaning of what it's actually trying to say. Keep watching our nuggets. And while you're at it, tell 10,000 of your closest friends about our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell, and tell others about our YouTube channel. Thank you.